Before we start I would like to say that if you are interested in buying Terraria there will be a link for you down in the description and on the screen right now to g2a.com where you can buy it for very cheap. Hey what's up guys and welcome to another video. So today I thought I would answer the question is Terraria worth buying in 2016? So Terraria is as you know an action adventure RPG game developed by Real Logic, where you can go mining, fight monsters and bosses and explore the world. Many people say that this is a 2D version of Minecraft. Well, it is kind of true, kind of not. Terraria is a lot more focused around combat and defeating bosses, and also about exploring uh, compared to Minecraft. And I really like that. I personally find Minecraft get a bit boring when you're digging through endless amounts of dirt and rock to find some diamonds or whatever you're looking for. But in Terraria I never find myself getting bored. There's stuff happening constantly, and there are always new things that you can work towards. And once you finally get that new item or defeat the boss you've been struggling with, you really feel a sense of accomplishment. And that is really fantastic, you don't get that feeling in so many games. The game also has very low system requirements, meaning that you can run it on basically any computer. For example, it runs perfectly fine on my little laptop that has an Intel Atom processor. For those of you who don't know what that means, it basically means that by today's standard that is a very low end or even considered to be a bad computer. In Terraria there are many different biomes that randomly spawn in your world. Biomes contain their own special blocks, monsters and they have their own unique looks and sounds etc. So you will never find yourself getting stuck in one single area for a longer time. All of the biomes are unique, so you will have to visit all of them to be as efficient as possible during your gameplay. Or if you simply want to obtain all of the weapons, you have to visit all of the biomes. And all of the biomes also have, or most of them, also has their underground version, which is basically another different set of enemies, sounds, looks, etc. Just uh, under the ground, under the surface. So the next great thing about Terraria is that there is such a great weapon variety. There are a total of 360 weapons in Terraria, and that is quite a lot of weapons. And most of the weapons are unique and have different specialities and uses. So you will probably not end up uh, using the exact same weapons during your different playthroughs. Which leads us to the next positive thing about Terraria. The game has an insane replay value. The world is randomly generated, there are a ton of different weapons and enemies, so, man so many biomes, many many different accessories, different armors and different classes. All of these features make sure that every time you start a new game you will have a completely new experience than your last playthrough. One thing I found a lot of fun to do is do different challenges, such as only using one class or not picking up heart crystals or to kill a boss during the first night. So just basically challenge yourself to see what you've learned and then put yourself to the test. Another thing is that Terraria has multiplayer. I don't think I've had as much fun in other multiplayer games as I've had in Terraria. The thing that's so great about Terraria, so easy to get into. Unlike other popular multiplayer games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive for example, where you and your friends has to be the same rank or you basically have to be as good as each other to play. Well, in Terraria all you have to do is create a new world and create new characters, which basically puts you to the exact same level. It doesn't matter if you're playing with your friends that's never played Terraria before, they will learn along the way. And I can confirm that it works that way perfectly fine, because I've played with friends that has never played Terraria before, and uh, we even played on expert mode that time, and it worked out great. Another great thing is that if you have the game on Steam, which you should have, otherwise you might not have gotten it legally, well, multiplayer is super easy to set up. You just have to select multiplayer and then invite your friends, it's that easy. As a conclusion, Terraria is a fantastic sandbox adventure game for everyone to play. It doesn't matter if you're playing offline or online or if you're playing with older people or younger people. I have personally played with my brother who is a lot younger than me, he is 10 years old and we have had so much fun playing multiplayer in this game. So it doesn't really matter who you're playing with, you can have fun with everyone. Here are some pros and cons and let's start with the pros. The randomly generated worlds make each playthrough very unique and interesting. The game has great weapon armor and accessory variety. There are several biomes with special looks, uses and enemies. The replay value is great. You may even have more fun during the second or third playthrough than you had the first time. 
which is not that common with games. Normally you have your, like the peak of your fun level is most of the times the very first time you play it. But in Terraria, the more you learn, it basically gets more and more fun. Another great thing is that there are very low system requirements, as I said before. So basically any computer can run it. And the last thing, the game is only about 4 euros on G2A.com. And once you've bought the game, you will get all of the new updates for free. This is something you really don't see that often. But once you've bought the game, you will get update after update after update. You will get so many updates. It's fantastic. For example, the, the newest big update was the 1.3, which uh, released a bunch of new weapons, enemies, and even a new, completely new boss. Uh, I honestly can only think about one con about this game, and that is that the game may be a bit overwhelming in the beginning for new players. Since there are so many things to do, so many things to explore and such, you might end up getting a bit stuck in the beginning. As you can probably tell, my rating for this game will be very high. Terraria is, as I said, a fantastic game. Terraria may even be one of the best games I have ever played, so my personal rating for this game is a clear 10 out of 10, with a little gold star in the corner. And the rating of, on Steam is 96% positive. That is one of the highest ratings I have ever seen on a Steam game, and it really tells how good this game is. So is this game worth buying? It definitely is. Sure, some people may not like the art style of the game, but I honestly think that it is fantastic. The game has great graphics. Many people think that a game has to have or realistic graphics to have good graphics, but that is not true. Well, that is for another discussion, but basically this game has great graphics. I will just leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something, and I hope to see you in the next video.